A local nonprofit offers support to homeless families so they can get back on their feet. Karen Roberson, board chairman of uh, Family Promise of San Gabriel Valley, joins us live to tell us how they help these families. Now, how long has this organization been around? Actually, Family Promise has been around a little over three years, so we're really pretty new. new. Yeah. Yes. Are you a shelter or are you just a service agency? Well, we provide safe sleeping space. We're not a brick and mortar shelter. We have a collection, a network of host congregations and we believe that the faith community uh, provides us with a great deal of support and uh, volunteers but what we do is the, fan the host congregations agree to host families inside the walls of their church seven nights at a time four times a year so we have 13 host congregations which covers 52 so they weeks rotate. a year Yes, so we have a day center we call the Hope Center where we actually provide services, case management, uh, it's where the kids go off from school, we have showers and laundry, but the churches actually receive the families at night, have dinner with them, uh, have some activities, tutor the kids, and then sleep inside that church. How central, I'm curious, how central is this faith element to your mission? In other words, is there prayer? Uh, do, do, no. the, do the participants engage in Do they faith need to activities? be of the same no. faith? This is not a religious program. The faith community is, provides a resource, and the volunteers do it as part of their faith walk. But it is not, uh, we're an interfaith program. We have uh, families who don't have any religious preferences. We have Muslim families. We've had a Muslim family, just one. Uh, but uh, whoever needs whoever the needs, service. And they're not required to engage in any religious practices. They're welcome to if they wish, but they're not uh, required in any way. And I think, you know, the, the saddest thing thinking about families is, is these young kids. You know, a, a lot of times kids are so resilient, they don't know any better. But what has been your experience with uh, well, the you know, interesting going thing is this? I loved uh, the introduction of you uh, telling your child about having the baby because you guys were in a bed. You know, there are 529,000 children in California in 2013 that didn't have a bed. So the first, you know, so children are used to having certain things. These kids don't have refrigerators where there are snacks when they come home from school other than what we provide. So it's, it's a pretty tough time for the kids and the little ones are resilient and so what we want to do is sustain them and keep their resilience because in the traditional shelter system sometimes it's not particularly child friendly. I would imagine it's also difficult to get your school work done to have outside activities. Mm -hmm. So being a child uh, oh, yeah. is, is difficult. Oh know. yeah. You have an event coming up uh, April 19th in Sierra Madre. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, it's a great event. It's a lot of fun. And it's really, um, it's this is the fourth year that we're having it. It's called Empty Bowls. And we have a wonderful group of local artists from uh, Pasadena, Sierra Madre, and actually as far away as Big Bear and Studio City. And they provide they donate handmade beautiful soup bowls and the people who participate they register for thirty dollars there are some of the artists that are there that have some of their wares that they could sell in addition to our fundraiser and then the we have local restaurants that provide a choice of soups so oh. we have a whole collection of soups so the participant selects the bowl of their choice they select the soup of their choice. We have music, we have you know a, a little bit of activity, and they get to see an actual prototype room where we host the family. That is so great, and they can find it's out about great. that on your website. Do you have a website? They can. It's uh, www.fpsgv.org. Say it okay. again. www.fpsgv.org. Okay, and it's just great. I know it must be really rough for those it's parents. But helping them get back on track is, right. is amazing. And we actually had five babies born while in our program. Oh my goodness! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you hosted Over some the baby course showers. Of the program. <laughs> not all on the no, same day. No, not in the same right. day. Well, no, but you, we did Karen. have twins. <laughs> thank you so much for being here and telling us about this. Thank you so much. Oh, I stay. Yeah. Well, what's in a name? That's the question that keeps expecting parents up at night. Well, that's before the baby until they come up with the perfect name for their baby. Dr. Michelle is here and she's going to tell us how the name you choose can impact your child's future. Next in the CC and Family to Family segment, stuff keeps appearing from, from everywhere. Oh my gosh, my sister's 
here. <laughs> Family members. <laughs> no. Get a hug in. What is happening? <laughs> uh, these you hug each other out there and come back and join us for the rest of our baby shower. <laughs>